Hey everyone, I am Saul. Let's get in right into it today. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. What the heck is an onomatopoeia? So, gisego, right? Gisego, a word that sounds like it is, right? A word that sounds like the action, a word that sounds like what it describes, okay? Gisego, onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Mm, it's hard to say, right? Onomatopoeia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, don't worry about it so much. But in Japanese, you use it a lot. Yoku tsukaimasu, right? In English, it generally translates more to a verb or a noun. We don't use onomatopoeias as much as Japanese people do in their native language. So let's open up the worksheet and check out the first one here, right? Number one says, that's a pudgy little baby. Pudgy. Pudgy. Pudgy, pudgy. Pudgy. Right? Okay. Pudgy, pudgy. He's snoring so loudly. Snoring. <sighs> Things like that. The children are giggling in the other room. Giggling. <laughs> small laughter, small laughter. Hmm? Stop eating so quickly. Quickly, maybe people think hayai, but it could also be uh, another word. We'll talk about that here in a second. Her skin is so soft, so soft. Not my skin. My skin's hard like a rhino. Mm. I was completely soaked, soaked after walking in the rain. Completely soaked, soaked. Blech. 100% wet, wet. So let's talk about some of these right in Japanese here. Right? Pudgy. Pudgy. Pochari ne. Pochi pochi ne. Snoring. Snoring. Guru guru. Guru guru. You might, Japanese might say, right? But for us, we would definitely use the noun more than we would use uh, onomatopoeia. Mm -hmm. Giggling. Giggling. <laughs> Right? I forget giggly in Japanese, right? Something like that. Eating so quickly. Quickly, eating so quickly. Her skin is so soft. Soaked. Completely soaked. Betcha. 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 Our Japanese, bisho bisho, right? Something like that. Bisho bisho. So. Looking at a lot of these words, let's look at the first box. We have sleep, right? Guru guru for snore. Snore. He is snoring. Ah, suya suya, suya suya. Sleeping quietly, right? Again, in English, we don't have a word to describe it, right? So we just use the verb. He's sleeping quietly. The baby is sleeping quietly. Mm. Okay. Laughter, ha ha ha, right? Laughter, warao koto ne? So giggle, giggle was kusu kusu, kusu kusu, I don't know, kusu kusu. But in English, definitely a verb. Giggle, the children are giggling. They're giggling in the room. Gura gura, gura, oh, gera gera, gera gera. Even for me, it's hard there, gera gera. Laughing loudly, he was laughing so loudly. Ha ha ha, right? Gufa, gufa, okay, it's a little older. We don't use it so much anymore. So we would say he's laughing loudly. He's laughing loudly. Right? Kira kira, kira kira. High laugh. Right? Cackling, cackling in English. We'd say, ah, she was cackling at the joke. Then we can talk about the body. Body, Japanese, you have a lot for the body, right? You have. Mookie Mookie, Mookie Mookie, rah, right, Mookie Mookie. Am I Mookie Mookie? Maybe, not so much, a little bit, a little bit. Chubby, pochari, chubby, chubby. Gari Gari, skinny, bony, right? Jerry, Jason say he's a little skinny, he's a little bony here, eh? A little skinny, maybe too, too skinny. Sara Sara, smooth, right? Ah, her skin is so smooth. Maybe. My skin, no, I need more lotion. Ah. Bosa, bosa. Bosa, bosa. 
messy hair. Ah, my hair is so messy. Ah, bosa bosa. Ah, my clothes. I don't know. Mm. Then we have food. Food. Ah, pari pari. Crispy. Eh, what kind of food is crispy, right? You think of uh, chips. Chips are crispy, aren't they? Chips are very crispy. Potato chips. Crunchy. Saku saku. Saku saku. What kind of food is crunchy? You think of sometimes uh, some cookies or biscuits. American English cookies. British English biscuits. Definitely. Biscuits are crunchy. Maybe the uh, mm, Family Mart chicken skin, Family Chicky skin is crunchy, crispy? Mm, I'm not sure. It's a little crunchy though. Fluffy, light, funwari, funwari, right? Ah, fresh bread, fresh bread from the bakery, Panya Sankara, right? It's very fluffy, it's very light, right? Japanese bread is amazing, it's very light. American bread is, mm, very average, it's okay. Not really light, not very heavy, but meh. Japanese bread is fantastic. Ah, pasa pasa. Dried out, dry. If you eat Hiroshima Okonomiyaki and they leave it on the grill too long, the soba becomes a little dry, dried out. Mm? That's why I only eat udon, right? Okonomiyaki with udon. No. No, no, no soba. No way. Hard. Kachi kachi, kachi kachi, right? Kachi kachi. What is hard? What's a hard food? I don't know. Uh, hard candy, right? Uh, chupa chups, something like that. Uh, mm, okay. Weather. Weather. Look at some weather here. Zaza, zaza. That's the sound, right? So again, automatopoeia, right? Giseigo. But in English, again, we don't have the, you know, just the sound word. So it has to be the verb, right? It's raining hard, it's raining hard, right? Raining heavily, also okay, if you wanted to use the adverb, fukushi, raining hard, raining heavily. I know some people like to say it's raining cats and dogs, it's okay, chotokotowaza, we don't say it so much though, naturally, naturally, it's a little strange. Jime jime, right? Jime jime, jime jime, right? Hard to read, hard to read there, jime jime. Just mushiatsui, right? It's very humid, it's really humid here. Japan is a humid country. Texas, Jay's hometown, very, very, very humid. Mm -hmm. Right, so we talked about bisho bisho, soaking, soaking wet, right? I was riding my bicycle in the rain. I was soaking wet, soaking wet, completely soaked. You could also do that, you could say, right, the kakoke, right? So remember, ED, ED is always the feeling, right? I was soaked. Okay. And you can use ING as the description, okay? Right? Mm. I was soaking wet, wet. So you wanna use ING, as a setsume keioshi. ED is the kibun keioshi, ne? I'm excited, the movie is exciting, okay? All right. Ah, para para, para para, para para, para para. Just, again, in English, there's no sound for it. It's raining lightly. Or even raining a little would be okay. It's raining a little outside. Can you hear? Para para para, right? It's raining a little. Hmm. Tsuru tsuru, tsuru tsuru. Slippery. Slippery. Ah, be careful. The sidewalk is a little slippery. Right? Hold on, Joto. It's a little slippery. Slippery. A lot of times in Japanese they'll say slip. Slip dake. Be careful. Slip is a verb. Doshi. Okay? Slip is an action. Wah! Slip. Okay? But it's slippery. Slippery. There are a lot more onomatopoeias in English. So, let's give those a check. Okay, welcome back. So, here I've added a few more of our Giseigo, right? Animals. Let's test. What animal says, woof, woof, bark, bark, 
Rough, rough. It's a dog. Very good. So our Japanese, wan wan, wan wan, right? So it's a little more difficult to do it in Japanese to English, okay? A lot of the sounds are completely different for animals. What animal says meow? Meow, meow, meow? That's right, it's a cat. Cats say, right, in Japanese, meow, meow, but in English, meow, meow, could you be the eh? Meow, meow, meow. What animal says, nay, 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 nay is a horse. That's right, that's right. Nay, Japanese, hi hin, hi hin. I used to ride horses. I've never heard a horse say hi hin to me, but I'm not sure. I haven't ridden a Japanese horse, so maybe they're a little different. Hmm. What animal says, oink, 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 oink? Hmm. Oink is a pig, a pig. The Japanese pigs say what? Boo, 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 boo. I'm so sad, boo, boo, boo. But uh, in English, definitely oink, 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 oink for the pig. Last one's a difficult one. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yeah. What animal says ribbit, ribbit? That would be a frog, frog, kaido san Very good, right? A frog. Japanese, the ribbit is kero, 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 right? <laughs> It's a little harder, right? Interestingly, about the animals in English, these are all verbs and nouns. Doshi to meishi, both okay, right? Meow, it's a meow. The cat is meowing, right? It's a ribbit. The frog is ribbiting. All okay. All right. Moving on to people. People. Some sounds that can be a little difficult. In Japanese. Again, using the verb is probably best here. A light cough. A light cough. Right? Go home, go home, go home, go home. A light cough. Again, in English, there's not really a sound for it. Just cough, cough, right? We don't say that usually. We say he has a cough or he is coughing. Meishi doshi, okay. Sneezing. Sneezing, kushu, 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 right? Sneeze, sneeze. The main verb is sneeze, okay? Meishi doshi, okay, right? He's sneezing, he has a sneeze. Whispering, whispering. <gasps> They're whispering. Koso, 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 right? Koso, koso, whispering, whispering. The children are whispering to each other. Jason says crazy. Yes, he is. That's right. All right. Oh, slurping, slurping. A big one in Japan. A big one in Japan, right? When you eat your ramen or your udon, your hot noodles, right? Zuru, 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 zuru. I believe it's zuru, zuru. Slurping, slurping. Okay. So, again, whisper, slurp. Okay. All verbs and nouns, okay. Last one we have, staring. Staring's a little hard. The base verb is stare, stare, okay. Jiro, 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 jiro. He was staring at me all night. Why, why, I don't know. He was staring at me all night. Ooh, scary, scary. Mm, all right, stare could be a noun, he gave me a long stare. It's okay. I would say 90% as the verb. Dai dai doshi desho. Okay. All right, last one. Last one we'll do today. Conditions. Conditions. How to describe something. Sparkling. Sparkling. Kira kira. Right? A sparkling diamond, if you have a ring. Not, not a diamond. It's a skull. Right? <laughs> sparkling diamond. Oh, do you have a sparkling diamond? Ooh, sounds nice. Dizzy. Dizzy. The children were playing a game and they became dizzy, dizzy. Guru, 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 guru. Whoa, whoa. Right? I feel dizzy, dizzy. Hmm? Shining. Shining. 
Shining okay, right? Shining is pika pika. Pika pika. Mm, right? Uh, could almost be like a... These are kind of close. Kind of close. But shining is something that kind of by itself. By itself. Whereas sparkling is light reflected, okay? So the light was shining. Ah, very pika pika, right? Pika pika, Pikachu, right? Everybody knows pika pika, pika pika. All right. <laughs> I don't know anything about uh, Pokemon. Forgive me. Sticky, sticky. Beto beto, beto beto. Ah, the tape is sticky. The glue is sticky. Ah, uh, if you step on some gum, chewing gum, ne? Oh, oh, it's sticky, sticky. Bleh. Mm. My Hanukkah so is very sticky. Mm. Hanukkah so, ego de? Booger. Booger. Very useful word. <laughs> last one, last one we have is nauseous. Nauseous. Hatsu muzukashi ne? Nauseous. Na shis. Na shis. I'm very nauseous. Muka muka. Muka muka kanji, right? Ah. I was riding on the boat. Oh, I feel so nauseous, so nauseous. All right, guys. Well, I hope all of the onomatopoeias we have studied today will help you describe yourself and describe things better in English. Thank you very much.